September 7th, <laughs> I'm getting ready to go to back to the studio to do some more content for my business, Lux Love Jewelry, link in the description, buy you something. Yes. Um, I'm almost done. I think I'm going to throw on my curly wig today just because it looks better when I'm doing real close up on the jewelry. It looks, I like, I like the way it looks. This is not, <laughs> this is my everyday, I don't feel like combing my hair, hairstyle. So yeah, I'm probably about to throw on my wig and get out of here, grab a Red Bull. It's been a day grab a Red Bull, and then head out. And I'm taking you guys with me. I'm going by myself today. My boyfriend uh, wasn't able to come with me. So I'm going to just thug it out, go by myself. And then, uh, yeah, let's get this done. <laughs> All right, wig is on, y'all. This is glueless. When I tell you I slapped it on, slapped it on it's not secure it has a elastic band in the back but she she barely on now and i tell y'all my neighbors upstairs y'all they testing me they testing me uh but anyways the wig is on this is my light I just got this and I'm still getting comfortable wearing it, but she cute. She cute. I love that it's natural and it kind of mimics my curl pattern just a little bit. Not a lot. <laughs> I wish my curls were this super defined all the time, but it gives me lint and I like that. And it's light, it's not too tight on my head. Like, I really like it. Um, But yeah, we threw this on. I had to put some earrings on because I was just feeling super duper naked. I don't have any of my jewelry on right now because when I do product shoots, I don't want to mix my like regular jewelry that I wear every day with the sample jewelry that I wear for the product shoots. So that's why I just... I usually don't put nothing on. But yeah, we're about to head out and go back to the studio and get some more shots. Definitely some more reels, like video footage, because the goal this month is to just keep the content, being consistent with the content, more engagement with my platforms, because you girl could go MIA real quick. <laughs> real quick and i'm trying not to do that so that's the goal that's the goal and i'm holding myself accountable this month and the months to come so when it comes to my business i'm giving 250 percent. okay so i just got to the studio and i'm ready i have two hours to get everything done and i think that's enough time for me um it's just me so we only getting from like <laughs> maybe here on down on me and I put some press ons on so I can do like some ring shots and whatnot but I'm gonna kind of give you guys a little glimpse of the studio so this is the studio it's a good size I like the aesthetic of it especially this side this is probably my favorite side and it has great lighting, great lighting and all the props and whatnot. <laughs> so I didn't come dressed up, jeans, t-shirt. Okay, 
I just want to say that I did a good ass job by myself. I got so much content y'all like so much. I'm so proud of myself, but I'm about to finish straightening up, which I didn't really move a lot around, but just finish getting things together. And then we're going back home. I'm so proud of myself I feel like I I got a lot of good content but it's gonna take forever to go through it I'm in here sweating sweating fall me please fall me please because I can't do it <laughs> I can't do it but I forgot to show y'all my earrings earlier so these are the Three huggies these are like i think i just put these on the site maybe last month so they're new but they're so lightweight and so cute they go with everything went home and did get to work and be productive for the rest of the day and i also hope that you guys are being productive and while you're being productive don't forget to subscribe subscribe comment and like and while you're at it you head over to instagram yes and tiktok tiktok too and follow me on my business page my business page and my personal page i don't really be doing nothing on the personal page but the business page check it out because that's really where i post a lot of sales and whatnot first granted the email list gets it but a lot of like random sales I have, it be on the ground, it be on the ground. I don't know, I, I'm trying to get into the TikTok more, but I'm just comfortable with Instagram, but definitely gonna step on out and work on being consistent on TikTok also. I'm watching my surroundings, y'all. I don't want nobody to kidnap me. <laughs> I don't want nobody to kidnap me. But yeah, I'm about to go home. I need to eat. And I'm just going to continue to have a productive day. And I hope you guys do too. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye. All right. So I'm coming to y'all crusty and dusty. But we're going to Target. We're going to Target. Usually when I go to Target, I get a little cute, you know, the vibes. But today we're just going to Target. I'm putting gas right now. It's real ghetto. And then we're going to the store. I need to get a birthday gift for my godchild. And then I think I'm gonna pick up a few items for some of my other friends' kids just because we on anti vibes right now. So I think I'm gonna pick some stuff up for them. Just some like cute fall clothes because I know Target has a sale right now. So yeah, probably gonna pick me something up too, just because. Um Y'all, I am up before the sun. It's currently 6.44 in the morning. But I needed to get a jump on work. Just knock some things out today. And I told myself yesterday, like, it's going to be a productive day tomorrow. So we're starting early. Real early. <laughs> I've had my tea. But I also feel like I need another cup. I've been working since probably six. <sighs> yeah, I think I'm gonna need another cup of tea, but I just needed to hop on because I feel like I haven't picked up the camera in a couple days. And we're trying to be consistent. We're trying to be consistent. So yeah, I just needed to pick up the camera. I need to show y'all some things later today. But as of right now, I'm just working, knocking that out. And then later today, 
we're washing this <laughs> y'all my hair has been in these flat twists probably almost like a week if not a week and a half and we have some new products to try so I can't wait I've been wanting to try this brand for a while so we're gonna see how that goes um we went crazy at Target we went crazy at Target and yeah I need to show you everything I got because we're sharing with cousins so I'm gonna show y'all what I bought um I do need to juice I need to kind of tidy up the apartment a little bit what else it's a lot this week been kicking my ass it's been kicking my ass y'all but we're getting through it we're being productive we're being positive so i'm gonna finish knocking out some of my tasks for work and then i'm gonna come back to y'all so okay so we went to Target and just had a ball. Now keep in mind, a lot of this stuff is not for me. And I'm very proud to say that because I wanted to go in and just shop for me, but I needed some gifts for my godchild cause her birthday is coming up. And I just wanted to get her some like, some cute little clothes because I honestly didn't know what do you get an almost nine year old I don't I don't know I don't know but I couldn't just get for her a lot of my other friends have kids and I'm I'm the auntie so uh, I had to get something for everyone so we're just gonna go through everything that I have it's not in any type of order. I'm just gonna pull from the bag and show you guys because who doesn't love Target? Name one person. Mm. Okay, so first, I guess we'll start with my pants because I got them from Target. So these are like the, what are they called? Once Upon a Star or something like that. They're like the lounge pants. They have the little, um, don't mind my ashiness, okay? Ignore that, ignore that. Focus on the pants. So I don't know what type of material this is, but y'all, it's so freaking soft. They're like that in the inside too. The outside part is soft, the inside part is soft. I just had to get them. So that was the first thing I saw and I just had to grab it. But I got this for one of the teenagers in the group <laughs> she is into her like want to be adult dress like an adult type phase i don't want to say dress like an adult but she wants to dress in a more mature way and to be honest i wanted this for myself i might go back and get me one but it's just a plaid shirt i mean she could wear it just like this or she can put a t-shirt under it she can wrap it around her waist however she wants to wear it but i just thought it was so cute and it's actually really soft so i might have to go get one <laughs> this is for one of the birthday girl gifts she won't if she does watch this she won't see till after so i'm okay with it i got her this little sweatshirt but this is like y'all look how cute Tell me that's not cute like and it's soft it's really soft what is this all in motion so it's like the active wear for target but i just thought it was so cute and i mean fall is coming it might not be super cold enough to wear this but knowing her she's probably still gonna wear it but i just thought it was the cutest thing i found this on the clarence rack she lives in Louisiana, so it's still hot there. So I just thought this was the cutest little sundress with the sunflowers on it. And I just thought this would be good for her. She could put a jean jacket over it if she wants, if she does, doesn't feel comfortable just wearing like the spaghetti straps. 
she could throw her little jean dress jean jacket over it because if you know you know my girl loves her jean jacket so <laughs> she's definitely gonna wear that i heard this little outfit i thought this would go so cute together so it's a just a t-shirt with butterflies on it and i also got her this like leather I'm guessing it's pleather skirt, but I was thinking this, I couldn't find any like tights at Target that would actually like go with this, but I'll probably try to find her some tights to go with this, but I'm pretty sure she has like some, not thigh high boots, but some pretty long boots that she could wear with this, but that's, some of her gifts and I also got her I'm the auntie that always buy the pajamas but the kids love the pajamas so I'm gonna keep buying them so I got her this pajama set it has the shorts that say breathe out on it and then the shirt what does the shirt say oh it says breathe in so the shorts say, the shorts say breathe in, and then the shirt says breathe out. She loves pink, so this is right up her alley. I also got her these cute little sandals. Like I said, she's in Louisiana, so y'all, these were five dollars. I couldn't pass them up. Like five dollars? Come on now. Just some cute little sandals she could still wear, cause I don't think it's gonna cool down. In Louisiana anytime soon so she'll get some use out of them before it gets cold all right I think this is stuff that I got for myself <laughs> yeah this is mine so she's having a galaxy themed birthday party y'all I tried to google Pinterest everything what to wear for a galaxy theme party Nothing really came up before besides the shirts that are like outer space and have like the black purple and I didn't want to wear that. So I at least got a t-shirt with the colors in it that I feel kind of are galaxy. I mean, it should go. We, we gonna, we gonna figure it out. I'm pretty much a chaperone at the party. So I don't feel like I have to really go all out but i'm trying to still be kind of in theme but it's hello kitty i thought it was cute this was actually in the men's section y'all which was weird but this was in the mint 14 dollars mm. <laughs> that was 12 but yeah it was in the men's section i pref when i shop for graphic tees i honestly prefer shopping in the men's section because their shirts are like a little longer than the women's that I buy it. I didn't buy it but there was a um I don't know if y'all seen it but the black Barbies on like the tan color shirt I have the sweatshirt but I wanted the t-shirt but it was in women's and it was just too it didn't hit right it didn't hit in the spot that I wanted it to hit so I didn't get it but if I ever wear the sweatshirt anytime soon i'll show y'all but i also got y'all these are when i tell you my favorite work pants i had a pair and i feel like i either threw them away or left them somewhere i just don't know but when i tell you these pants fit so freaking good they're a new day and i actually like the a new day brand they have some really good pieces not just for like workwear but just every day so i like it they're just the what are they called the side zip skinny ankle and i just like the way they fit like the waist they're really good it has an elastic band in it and i really like that so it fits me good i got a six i used to be a four but girl I don't pull a weight on but i like it it's stretchy i got a t-shirt because you can't go to tarjay without getting some graphic tees you just can't 
So this one just says manifest. Like I said, like if you compare it to the men's one, like it just is not long. I like my t-shirts long and I like them big. I think I got, I got a large. And it doesn't even look like a large. That's, that's the problem. <laughs> I don't know, but I just like, I liked it manifest. I mean, it's a shirt I could just wear around if I gotta run to the store. But y'all, this skirt, I've had my eye on this skirt for some weeks now. And it's part of their like, the collection that they have in the front of apparel. Like, I guess every so often they switch it up. But y'all, this skirt is so cute. It's the split for me. Like, come on now. It's like a satin material. Honestly, I don't know where I'm gonna wear this. I don't know how I'm gonna pair this, but it had to come home with me. I had to get it. It fits nice. I actually got a small in this cause I wanted it to fit like fit fit. Usually I get a medium and things, but this one, yeah, we, we got a small. I mean, it could be cute for day night. I could pair it up with maybe just a t-shirt if I wanted to dress it down in some of my dunks or dress it up. Like I said, for date night, I don't know, but she had to come home. She had to come home with me. Okay, last bag. This is just um, my best friends, my sisters that live in Houston. I'm actually going to visit next month. So that's why I wanted to get the kids some things just because usually I'll just get them stuff for Christmas or their birthday, but I want to be more intentional with loving on the people that are around me. So I just wanted to get the kids something, but this is for our youngest, Miss Bookie Boo. Y'all, it's, it's just so cute. I can't wait to see her in it. <laughs> If y'all know Buki, y'all know. So I got her a little sweatshirt. I tried to get all like fall, winter things. Cause summer's almost over. So I didn't want to get summer clothes, but. And then we have the two boys. Like they're brothers. They're cousins, but they're brothers at heart. So if you get one, you got to get the same for the other. So I just got them matching t-shirts. It's long sleeve shirt and it says, what did it say? Player one, they they like, they're into the games right now. So I just got them both the same shirts. I was gonna do pajamas, but we do pajamas for Christmas. So I got them t-shirts. But honestly, when I went in the apparel section for myself, you know when you go in the store and you have the funds to maybe get some things that you want, but you don't see nothing? That was me. I had the funds. I had already put in my mind how much I would spend on myself and I couldn't really find nothing. So yeah, it's mostly for the kids. Do it for the kids. But right now, I don't have my watch on. It is... Mm, trying to decide if I just want to wash my hair right now.
Okay, so boom. While we're in Target, I decided to pick up the trial size, the travel size of the pattern shampoo conditioner in leave-in. I got the travel sizes just in case I wasn't like super excited, didn't fall in love with the product. And let's just say, y'all gonna see, but let's just say, uh, I'm not the biggest fan, y'all. So in the travel size, you got the hydration shampoo, the heavy conditioner, and also the leave-in. Washing my hair with the shampoo, I realized it didn't feel super hydrating. If you see in the previous clips, you see me wash my hair like once or twice with the shampoo. I got more of a super clean feeling versus hydration. After washing my hair, I realized that it wasn't feeling super hydrated like it usually does when I wash it. I have my special shampoos that I use that I just love how it makes my hair feel. It doesn't make my hair feel super tangled or anything like that. But with this one, it was a little different. Okay, so I'm adding the conditioner onto my hair and the directions say to apply to wet hair from roots to end and for extra dense or long sections clip it and let it sit for about 10 minutes. So that's what I ended up doing. I didn't try to detangle it just because it didn't feel super manageable. And I deep condition my hair weekly for the most part. So with my hair feeling like this, it just felt weird. And also, I noticed my hair dried really, really fast after washing it, which it typically doesn't. So that was kind of weird to me. So you'll see me in the clips adding water to my hair before I add the conditioner in. I section my hair off like I usually do into four just to kind of distribute it a little better. You can probably see on my face, I'm not a big fan of the conditioner and I really, 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 really want to like this brand. After putting the conditioner all over my hair, I put my cap, my shower cap on and I literally probably let this sit in my hair for a good 20, 30 minutes. The direction said 10, but the way my hair was feeling, I just left it in a little longer. So after washing my hair, I still wasn't feeling it. Like it didn't feel super manageable. Like I could just detangle it like I usually do. Y'all, this was a struggle. Just trying to detangle my hair and actually trying to force myself to like these products because I've heard such great things about this line. I'm thinking maybe I need to try some different products from the line. I don't know if. If you guys have ever used the products from Pattern, let me know which ones you love, especially if you have the same or similar to my hair type. So when I detangle my hair, I usually part it into four sections and then I detangle from there. And as I'm going through each section, I will twist it up just so it's out of the way. And I'm gonna speed it up, but you will see my favorite, 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 so far my favorite gel I have been using for the past like month or two I'll go into depth on a review on it if you guys really want me to just let me know in the comments but it's called the bomb as fro gel oh my god y'all so good
yeah just let me know in the comments if you want a full review on the gel and i will definitely do that I do finish twisting my hair off camera, but we let this dry for a good day before we take it out. It's Friday. It's Friday. Tonight is day night. I have about an hour to get dressed, hair, makeup, something to put on. And I need to do something with my feet because this was like last minute. Mm. We'll see. So it's currently 6.03. I need to be dressed and ready to head out the door by 7. But first, the tunes. We need some tunes. My makeup routine may take me 10 minutes if that I'm a very light makeup person it's the hair I don't even know if it's all the way dry from yesterday we gonna we gonna say a prayer on it but if you natural you know like your twist out needs to be fully dry it, it seems okay I think I'll be okay but I don't even know what I'm gonna do to my hair it may be in a puff we may have to puff it out tonight. I don't know. I don't know what the weather is. We're going with the vibes tonight. <laughs> We're going with the vibes. So, I use the Anastasia Zip Brow. What is this? In Dark Brown. It's in Dark Brown. Brows are done. Does anybody else have that one brow that's like you get it every time and then you got the other one that just don't act right? I tried to make sure they were sisters. 
the best I can do. The thing I'm gonna do is probably some concealer, eyeliner, and maybe some mascara. My foundation don't match right now because I'm still like super tan from Cabo. So I'm not even gonna, not even gonna do it. This is like my favorite concealer, the NARS. What is it? NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. My color is Medium Dark 2 Caramel. I mean, I've been using it for years now and it never failed me, so. put some translucent powder just like underneath my eyes what am i doing it's 623 <laughs> so what i'm gonna do is just take my hair untwist my hair and see what we got and then just go from there
Y'all look at the the snow on top of the roof is coming. That's crazy. I think it's because I twisted this side the opposite way of this side. That's what it is. That's what it is. I'm do my edges first and then see. Cause of so I've been using the Style Factor Edge Booster. What is this? Blueberry? Blueberry scent. But this is what my braider uses on my edges when she does my hair. So I figured I'd try it. I'm not the biggest when it comes to edges, baby hairs, all that. So we're trying out things. So we're going to Capitol Grill in Dallas. Um, I've never been, not sure if my boyfriend's ever been, but from the pictures, the food look good. Are you, are y'all one of those people? Like, I gotta look at the menu before I go. I can't just pull up at a restaurant. I need to look at the menu. Okay. <laughs> okay, with the edges, I haven't even brushed it yet. We might have something, but yeah. From the menu, it looks like it'll be good. I tried to look them up on Instagram, but they didn't really have much on their page. Even the tag stuff, it wasn't much. But we shall see tonight. I think reservations are at eight. Okay, edge control. That's like now this side of my hair. You just do what you want. So we gonna see how good this slicks this side down. This is like the real test. Mm, give it a little residue. Like, I don't lie. Brush it. <laughs> I'm gonna let the edges marinate while I go find something to put on. 6.40, I got like 15 minutes <laughs> to find something to wear and then I'll come back, show y'all and then try to decide if I wanna keep this down or put it up. We'll see. All right y'all, it is 6.58, we made it. The hair gotta stay like this. I'm not mad at it because the, I feel like the edges brought it together but I am going to bring one of my headbands just in case it's humid outside and I need to put my hair up but I just have on a dress y'all can't really see but the back is out I'll try to get a picture or something a little video to show y'all the dress but it's just a black maxi maxi dress I've had for years 
um all my jewelry is from lux love check it out yeah we are ready to go i'm starving so i can't wait i haven't had a drink since cabo but we getting one tonight so uh, leo <laughs>